So I'm in Tangra. Chinese Indian <clears throat> cuisine. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. Good afternoon guys. Welcome to another YouTube video from my beautiful city, Kolkata. So I'm in Tangra, which is the heart of Calcutta's Chinatown. So we're gonna go and have some good fun. Let's enjoy ourselves and have some good food. So stick around guys, it's gonna be a great video. So let's continue. So we're going to this restaurant called the Kafu Lok. Let's go inside. I hear the food is fantastic. And this is Chinatown guys. So of course, we're gonna have some great, great Indian Chinese food over here. So guys, at the Kafu Lok restaurant, beautiful decor, very clean, very nice, very elegant. So let's now go and check this menu guys. It's gonna be a fun time. So don't go away, more to come. Wow, look at this menu. This is with all kinds of fantastic soups over here. I think I'm gonna go for the chicken manchow soup or the mixed manchow soup. I really like it. This is a heavy menu, all laminated in plastic. And then they have the non-veg appetizer, the roast chicken. I think they have the chicken no wings. Yeah, oh yeah. And I think this is, I'm not sure this, if they have the chicken lollipop, but this probably is the chili chicken with the bone. Could be, not sure. And then they, you have the main course, the chili chicken, which is the most famous one. I'm definitely going to try that out. Then you've got the Szechuan chicken, Manchurian chicken, all yummy, yummy, yummy. And of course, you've got the Hakka Chow noodles, the Szechuan Chow. I think I'm going to go for the mixed Hakka Chow noodles. And you've got the soups over here again, and some drinks. They have got really good drinks over here. They have all kinds of different whiskeys, rum, vodka, wine, everything is here. And they have my favorite Kingfisher beer. This is excellent, guys. So Chinatown, this area, Tangra, as you have seen in my some previous videos as well. This is where you know the Chinese lived for many, many years. Like Chinese came into China from China to India to Calcutta and settled down over here. They were this place was very famous for the tanneries. So the tanneries have moved out and there's a lot of new restaurants that have opened up over here and pretty shishi restaurant. And this is one of them. And the food is just excellent. It has got that Chinese, of course, is a Chinese cuisine, but it has got the Indian flavor to it. In the UK, US, Canada, you get that Chinese Indian cuisine that's served in a lot of the Indian restaurants, and the food is exactly like this. It's very, very influenced by the Indian Chinese restaurants of Calcutta, and then they've got Indian Chinese restaurants rest of the country as well in Bombay and Delhi and Hyderabad, but this is where it all started. This is the heart of Chinese culture of India. So guys, um, Kafuluk has got two levels. Upstairs is more for dining. If you come for dinner time, it's really gorgeous. I definitely recommend, you know, going upstairs and sitting over there during dinner time. But lunch is on the ground floor. It's one level. And as you can see, the decor is very clean, very nice, very elegant. Now I'm just waiting for the food. So I've ordered a Kingfisher large beer. Definitely it's like, the time to have this you know just kind of before the you know lunch starts here you go here is the king for sure and then i ordered a, a soup a chicken manchow soup and also chili chicken which is my favorite the dry chili chicken and a hakka chinese noodle you know the hakka is a province in china and kind of the cuisine that came to india is from the hakka area and so that's why a lot of these Hakka dishes you will see, I mean, in New York, if you go to the Chinatowns in New York, you will see great Hakka food too. But this is a little bit different. If you're familiar with the Indian Chinese type of food, it has got more spice to it, but it still is very, very authentic. So let's dig in. Let me show you what we are eating over here. I hope you love this video. And if you're enjoying all my videos, please give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel and do share my videos. So thank you so much for your support and keep on watching and keep on supporting. More to come guys. So let's have some fun now. Here you go. The Kingfisher Ultra Strong. I love the Kingfisher beer. Whenever in India, I don't miss a chance to have some Kingfisher. It's strong, it's nice. And look at the large bottle size. You can easily have like, you know, two people can enjoy this Kingfisher, this size. And of course there's some of these kind of the spicy mixes that you get. It goes very well with the beer. All right, guys, cheers. Love these mugs as well. 
Mmm. Ice cold and nice, so refreshing. Just yummy. Nice lazy afternoon on a weekday. Just come over here if you're in Calcutta. Enjoy Chinatown. I definitely recommend it. So guys, this is the famous chicken manchow soup. And I've got the chili vinegar, which is the most favorite thing. I'm gonna put it in here and make it more spicy. So guys, that's the chili, sorry, the chicken manchow soup. So time to devour this and see how it tastes. Moment of truth, guys, moment of truth. It's hot, piping hot, with this kind of the fried noodles on top. Mm. I can smell it, it's just awesome. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. You can taste the garlic, the chicken, and the broth. Oh my God, this is out of this world. And I'm gonna put some chili vinegar and put it right over here, put it right over here. See, you gotta douse it a little bit because that's what gives you the kick. So let's see with that how it tastes. I'm very sure it's gonna be fantastic. Mmm. Even better, guys. This is awesome. The soup has got vegetables like peas, carrots, chunks of chicken and some egg too. Oh my God, this is just heavenly. Absolutely out of this world. Wow, that soup was just fantastic. Now the main course is coming. So one word of caution about this place is you have to tell them in advance to bring the food one after another. Otherwise they will bring everything at the same time and you have to send it back. Otherwise everything gets cold. So the concept of appetizer soup and then the main course doesn't exist over here. Everything comes in one shot. So you need to tell them. So please, a little bit of a tip from our side. Okay, so this is the chicken hakka noodles, sorry, the mixed hakka noodles. It's piping hot, so it smells so good. Now comes the chili chicken. This is my favorite. Thank you. Wow, guys, this looks so yummy. Guys, moment of truth. Let's see how it tastes. It definitely smells just yummy. So chicken hakka noodles, piping hot. Mm. It's sodded, not deep fried or anything like that. The noodles is very on the softer side and the spice is just, you can, you know, it's very subtle, not too spicy. It's not gonna burn your mouth or anything like that, but you can just taste the pepper, the, the fried oil a little bit, but it's a very nice way. Not like that, oh my God, it's so like, not so savory, but this is a little bit of that touch of oil, that fried flavor, it's so good. Oh my God, because it's fried with the spices, with the vegetables and all that. And wow, it's just awesome. Now, I'm gonna try the chili chicken. Mm, this is absolutely how I like it. It's not, in a lot of places, like even if you ask for dry, there's a lot of gravy in it. This is very dry. You can taste, and the chicken is so tender, so nice. And the chilies, everything, just, Mm, just burst in your mouth. All kinds of flavors, my God. This is a culinary ecstasy I'm having over here. <laughs> but this is fantastic. Excellent. Just loving the food, loving the experience. Everything is just A1, guys. So guys, um, that was a fantastic meal. I just couldn't fin finish everything, so I'm actually packing too take it back but uh, it was about 1100 rupees so that's about 13 dollars not too cheap but not that expensive either 13 dollars for a beer that's a big like tall beer that could have probably like two people could have had it and then a soup the chili chicken and the noodles the hakka noodles and i'm still taking all of most of it at the home so basically this could have been between two people. So it's absolutely very, very, I won't say cheap, but reasonable. So $13, if it was for two people, it would have been six and a half each, and that would have been just absolutely, absolutely reasonable. But it's just for one, so if one person comes, they can't like, you know, sort of give something that's just meant for one person, because most of these places are very family style. So they have got, you know, they give decent amount of food that's can feed more than one person. So all in all, it was a fantastic experience. Definitely, definitely recommend this place. I'm gonna put a link below. If you are loving my videos, please give it a thumbs up and definitely don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So I'm gonna end this video today. See you in the next video.